These images, now somewhat familiar, yet ever impressive, show Ariane 6 assembly in Europe and at the Europe spaceport. However, this time the Ariane 6 is Flight Model 1, the rocket chosen for Ariane 6's inaugural launch. Now, the upper and main stages of the Ariane 6 flight model have arrived in French Guiana, and their integration is complete. Together, they form the central core and are ready to be moved into their vertical launch position. The mechanical integration of the launcher I started a couple of weeks ago uh, when we have finalized the qualification of the launcher, of the launch base and of the launch system. And we had also reached the approvals for moving uh, the uh, core uh, central today on the launch zone. After the horizontal integration of the core stages, the rocket is transported to the massive mobile building for a further vertical integration. To do this, the central core is transported by four automated guided vehicles, two at the back and two on front. It's an automatic guided vehicle. And that vehicle actually um, moves towards the launch pad completely by its own. It is guided by uh, magnetic stripes that are here in the road until the magnetic stripe stops and it uh, finds itself uh, in front of the launch pad. During these transport procedures, the automated system also protects the integrity of the central core, ensuring no torque or stress is put on the assembly. With the rocket in its vertical position, its two solid propellant boosters will be added. So the boosters, we can use them in two configurations. We have two boosters or four boosters. This is a modular configuration for Ariane 6. For the inaugural launch of Ariane 6, we will use two boosters because of the configuration of the payloads under the fairing. And so to propulse them outside the gravity of Earth, we need only two boosters. After this, fluid and electrical lines will be connected. And then all that remains are the passengers, which will be flown in from Europe and added to the upper part in May. As the summer slowly approaches, it is clear Ariane 6 is on track to soon fly for the first time.